Hello and welcome to this A3 tutorial on the 30 degree difference between star and delta systems. Now this tutorial comes from questions that are often asked around why we say VA equals whatever at 0 degrees but VAB is whatever at 30 degrees. And we often you'll have VB is whatever minus 120 and VBC is whatever at minus 90. Why the difference in 30 degrees between these? Um, this is what we're going to explain. The, the easiest way of explaining this, again, without the maths and with some diagrams, uh, is, is like this. First of all, we'll consider our three-wire system like this, and we'll call this phase A, B, and C, and we'll have a neutral up here as well. Okay, but when obviously that's going to not be used for the delta system. Um, so let, let's consider a star system connected to this. So here we have here our classic star system. And we'll have this one here as being phase A, this one here as being phase B, and this one here as being phase C. And of course our neutral point here is connected off to our neutral wire. So this point here is nominally at zero volts. The voltage across here is VA, the voltage across here is VB, and the voltage across here is VC. And we can see that simply by following the lines down. Between here and here is to VA. Between here and here, between the neutral point in here and here is VB, and here and here is VC. Now, in the time domain, this would be drawn like this. There's our sine wave for VA with a zero degree reference. Phase B will be drawn like this, lagging by 120 degrees. And phase C would be drawn like this, lagging by 240. And this is what most people are familiar with. Um, if we wanted to draw that in a uh, in the vector diagram, it would look a little like this. There's a magnitude of VA. This is zero degrees here. We have VB lagging by 120 degrees, which would be down here somewhere. And we have VC lagging up here by 140 degrees. Is 240 and this is the reason we write VA is whatever at 0 degrees VB is whatever at minus 120 and VC is minus 240 and whatever these magnitudes of these are going to be now that that's quite straightforward now if we look at a Delta system we can draw a delta system here. And we can connect this off similarly. We can make this one here VAB. So one end is connected to phase A, the other end is connected to phase B, and the voltage across here is VAB. The voltage between this one here and here is VCA and the difference here is VBC. Now, coming back to our point around where this 30 degrees come from, we need to be able to understand what this diagram here is showing us. And 
what this is showing us. If we look at the star system which I've drawn here, we can see quite clearly, like I said before, that the magnitude of each of these is here. So this point here is VA. As I said, this point here is VB, and this point here is VC. But over here, our voltages are defined between the phases. So our voltage VAB is the voltage between VA and VB. How do we put that on here? It is exactly that. It is a VA to VB. This is our voltage here. VAB is this one here. VBC is here. And VCA is here. If you were to do this diagram properly on some grid paper, you would find out that the relationship between these in a perfectly balanced system is root 3. And I challenge you to do that if you were to draw it on grid paper. So we've now established our star voltages and our VAB, VCA and VBC voltages, but we still haven't explained where the 30 degrees comes from. So what happens here is we take these and we reference them to the point here. And this one here is essentially shifted up to this. This one here comes down here. And this one here comes over here. These lines are parallel. All I've done is taken this and shifted it to here. I've taken this, shifted it to here, and I've taken this and shifted it to here. Notwithstanding the diagram falling off the bottom of the piece of paper. Now, again, if we were to doing this on graph paper, you would see that this angle here is 30 degrees. This angle here is minus 90, and this angle here is minus 210. That is where our VAB voltage is whatever at 30. VBC is whatever at minus 90. And VCA is whatever at minus 210. It exists because of the relationship between VA to VB. simple, uh, just a matter of getting into understanding. So that's it in the vector diagram. If we were to put that in this diagram over here, it's the same thing. These waveforms would just be shifted by 30 degrees, and the magnitudes would be different, of course. I hope that's cleared that up. Um, if you want to, and you're up for it, you can go through and prove it with maths, but here I've just given a, a quick demonstration, a quick example, using a couple of sketches um, and to give a visual understanding for those of you who are more visually orientated as opposed to mathematically orientated. Uh, if you've got any questions, please drop me an email.